Hello subscribers and unsubscribers and welcome back to Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband 1860s Old America. So in this part we will probably just be focusing on getting our army back up to where it needs to be, i.e. full capacity, and probably going after bandits or something, I don't know, we'll see, uh, to try and get enough troops to be able to hopefully retake Fort Bent at some point. Uh, but yeah. We'll see how that goes. I don't expect to be retaking Fort Bent anytime soon, and I have expect, or I half expect Hannibal Hamlin to decide, oh, you're not going to get Fort Bent again, even if I retake it. So that kind of sucks, to be honest, but, you know, it's just what I honestly expect from the AI. For it to say, oh, you held it, you lost it, even though you're basically defending it all alone. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and say, screw it, you're not going to get anything at all. Which is going to be annoying if that ends up being the case, but oh well, it's the way the game is. And so yes, I did think of actually off-screening, going and trying to get her army back up to max capacity at least. And then I just said, you know what, screw it, let's not bother. <laughs> so, yeah. You guys get to see me running around from village to village, going and trying to get her army back up to 82 men. Eventually, we will get there. It's just going to take some time. Okay, let's go ahead and camp because we have a book to read. I don't know what book we're reading off the top of my head. I know where you were reading some book. Uh, ah, Logic. Uh, it's the volunteers I want, correct? Yeah, the volunteers are the ones I want. Uh, ooh. Uh, I'm going to turn you into bandits because bandits don't have as many issues. Yeah, but bandits don't have as many issues. I mean, bandits aren't going to have issues with me because inevitably we will probably end up in a war with the Confederacy. And if I turn those guys into Confederate uh, soldiers, they would have complained and decreased the morale of the army overall. Now, admittedly, I've never really noticed any substantial uh, benefit to the morale. I don't know if it really does anything outside of just make sure your men don't desert you. But I could be wrong. It might actually do something. But I don't think it does. There we go. Thank you, Rolla. That's very helpful. What do you got, Jefferson City? Oh, you're not as good as Rolla, I'm afraid. Rolla's a whole hell of a lot better than Jefferson City. Because Rolla gave me 14 volunteers, Jefferson City said. No, I'm afraid we only got two. <sighs> okay, I'll go and deal with them. Let's just save. Okay, we're just sort of gonna flank around the side. Mostly because I don't want to go ahead first into the enemy. Yeah, can we try not to get stuck on that tree any longer, if you don't mind? Oh shit. What the hell? What the hell is wrong with my bullets? They're either not doing anything or they're going off to the side somewhere. Even when my crosshair is right on the guy. I understand that the game... Your bullets aren't exactly 100% accurate, but holy crap, they seem way off. Go 
Good job guys, my horse is kind of beat up a little bit, but it'll mystically regain all of its health after this battle. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it as my dues, thank you very much. Um, mostly actually we're kind of liking that gun shipment, if you don't mind. So we're gonna take that up to St. Louis. Some soldiers are ready to go ahead and get upgraded, wonderful. Settlers, turn you guys into adventurers. No game, I'm trying to camp. And volunteers, turn you into mountain militia, turn you guys into bandits, turn you all into adventurers. For those of you that don't know, you can control click and turn everything into a single type of unit when doing those upgrades, which is wonderful. I got tons of money. Yeah, I mean, God, these guys are so cheap. We start out with so much money, it's so easy to get money by just raiding towns. I don't need all this grain because I got tons of that grain up there. So we'll go and sell that stuff. Check out the tavern, some abolitionists. Who are you? Oh, you're looking, you're just a news person. You are a song dude. Uh, if there's only two of you, I don't really care to, I'm afraid. Let's go back in. Nope, okay. Nobody else is in there, it seems. Uh, Pat Devlin, how are you doing? Pat Devlin? I didn't actually see... Let's, Pat Devlin, how large is your army? 73. You know what? Yours, along with mine, should be good enough to go and retake Fort Ben. So, Pat Devlin, I got a favor to ask you. Uh, may I suggest a course of action? You don't know me well enough. I mean, I'm the guy that won a battle. Well... Didn't win, actually, rather. Lost a battle. Defending Fort Bent. Basically all by himself. Against an army five times his size. He managed to knock out about twice as many enemies as he lost. So, I'm afraid I think we're... I'm afraid you should probably know me quite well. At the end of the day. But no. No, the game says, I've never heard of you. You're just some random guy named Zeke Tatum. I've never heard of you. Well, you should have. So I'm the only one who's done anything in this damn war. That's just the course of action. Will you follow me? Hardly be proper my ass. If you follow me, we can actually get stuff done. That's why Hannibal Hamlin should name me Marshall. There we go. That's actually fairly nice. We're going to go ahead and I think go and raid Wichita Indian Agency. More so because we can't than anything else. Oh, and of course they're holding a feast in Louisville. Because of course they are. Dangerous outlaws. Yeah, turning into mounted raiders. Uh, you are a part of which? You're a part of the South Cheney trading camp, or Chennai, whatever the hell it is. Cheney, I think. I don't know. I honestly don't fucking care. <laughs> Loot and burn to the ground. Gun shipments, tobacco, indigo, thank you very much. Got some sugar and some velvet and some whiskey and some supplies and tools and a bunch of other stuff that is actually worth something. Along with a bunch of food that's practically worthless. But hey, you know, it's food. Okay, off we go to St. Louis to sell this food. And we're going to ride in the night to get as far away from Wichita Indian Agency as possible because if the Plains Indians are smart... Which is the AI, so it probably isn't. Uh, it would probably want to go and check out over there. Don't just assume that I'm going to actually try and leave right away. Mountain Militia, Volunteers. And don't worry, Azro, Rockwell, we'll get our guys back eventually. We'll find them lying around in town somewhere and they'll decide to rejoin us. But in the meantime... 
we're going to be on our own with generic troops who are not the greatest. Uh, oh, U.S. federal government could in theory declare war on the Plains Indians if it felt so inclined, but it, I think it's still in a war, right? Yes, it is at war with the Confederates again, so they're probably not that inclined to do so. Go to the marketplace and sell the gun shipments and the indigo. That puts us over what he actually has on hand. Uh, that also is. Oh, that's over. Uh, that's still over. Uh, I think that's as far as you're going to go. There we go, that's fine. Now, do you have anything worthwhile? No, as per usual, you guys have basically diddly squat. Abolitionists. Uh, do we have the weaponsmith dude or whatever he was in here anywhere? No. Nope. Random ass farmer. I don't care for farmer. The other door on that floor is closed. I don't think anybody typically spawns on the third floor, but honestly, I've never really checked. Uh, yeah, nobody up on the third floor. Okay, off we go. Rolla, have you got somebody again? I doubt it because it's only been about two nights, but hey, you never know. Oh, there's bandits here now. Okay, Rolla, let's go. Oh shite, turn around, turn around. You guys are set to charge, but you're kind of struggling on the whole charge aspect of charging. What the hell? That bullet, like, disappeared or some shit. Uh, okay, I guess I knocked him unconscious, yeah. Come on, let me... Am I not allowed in there? I'm not allowed in there, apparently. Apparently they can get back there, but apparently I'm not allowed to go through the fence, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to jump over it or some stuff like that. Take it as my dues. Thanks for the indigo and grain. You guys got eight. Wonderful. That fills me up. Mountain militia. Volunteers. Wonderful. We're back up to max capacity. Let's go ahead and camp for the night. Well, for the day rather. Make sure we're, all of our guys are healed up and ready to go. Okay, and adventurers turn you into dangerous outlaws. Mountain militia, volunteers, let's go. Uh, pretty sure I can't actually take any of these forts. I think I still need over a hundred men to be able to do any of that. And even then it's going to result in a lot of losses. 
on my side, which are the losses I care about. Don't really care too much for the other guy's losses. Okay, there are apparently farmers or something leaving a looted town, which is a little surprising. Well, I guess if it's farmers, it's fine, but if it was supposed to be like a caravan or something, yeah, I've got a hard time believing that one game. I really do. Okay, we got two guys sitting in Fort Leavenworth doing nothing. So, Edward Bates, we meet again. You're an ass, you know that, Edward? Ah, Colonel Edward R.S. Canby. Yes, yeah, so just the course of action. No, okay. Uh, there's a fortress we can easily take. Go to Fort Bent. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Probably. Fine. Screw you, Edward. Oh, yes, he has a sweet, sweet 90 men. That'll help me out. Okay, we need to get to Fort Bent before him. Now, we are faster than him. Wonderful. Uh, hopefully there's nobody in Fort Bent. Just the, uh, the garrison, hopefully. Because I'm going to need time to create a breach. Then I need to wait for this guy to be ready to go in. Or, well, basically close enough to get in. Also, after looking back on the footage, I realized that those guys that I was trying to beat to Fort Bent, that 100 and some odd, uh, come shortly. Jesus, woman. Uh, but yeah, that 100 and some odd army, that men army that I was trying to get to Fort Bent before they could do anything. Yeah, as it turns out, <laughs> uh, yeah, they managed to actually join the fight because they were still close enough for the game to say, yeah, good enough for them to join. Please don't, please just have the garrison at Fort Bent. Please just be the garrison. Because if there's anyone defending, oh God, there's somebody defending here. Well, I think we got enough men. Besiege the fort. Your situation is hopeless. Okay, prepare the walls. Uh, wait until these guys are a little bit close. Okay, I think they're close enough now. Let's lead our soldiers in an assault. I think they're joining. Um, no, I don't think they joined. That actually kind of sucks. <laughs> they did not join, I don't think. Hold your fire, you idiots. No, they did not join. Okay, and we're going to retreat. Yeah, 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 yeah. These guys did not join for whatever reason, so I'm going to wait. They should eventually want to attack themselves, in theory, at least. I knew that was going to happen eventually anyway. But I got plenty of money. We'll be fine. We finished reading that book, which I think it said it gave us leadership. How the hell do they escape? <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, go and sacrifice the men. Run! Why the hell didn't you guys help? I had already prepared the ladders. You could have easily joined in on the fight. You really could have. Sorry, Canby. Not my fault. <laughs> you guys should have joined in that first attempt to take the damn place. Rather than sitting back, twiddling your thumbs and saying, Oh, okay. Sure, we'll follow you over there, and then proceed to not actually f do anything. Like, seriously? They and they were definitely much closer than that other army, so I don't know why the hell they didn't join. As if the game just said, Oh, nah, we're not going to decide to have these guys join the fight for whatever reason, even though they should have.
Let's go to Kansas City. Turn you guys into volunteers. Turn you into mounted militia. Turn you into regular cavalry. Let's go ahead and recruit some more troops. Get ourselves back up. Because we actually lost quite a few troops in that retreat. Because I sure as hell wasn't going to fight that. That was far too many troops. I didn't even need to look at the numbers. I knew it was far too many. There's no way in hell we were going to be able to win that. Uh, okay, Fort Leavenworth is probably going to be put under siege. Oh no, they're raiding Jefferson City. Let's go to the fortified village. And it says significant group. Honestly, it's a pain to know what the game means Some of the sometimes when it says this kind of stuff. We're gonna sneak off the roller now. Oh, do they? It looks. Like, oh no, they're still raiding it. It seems as though they stopped, but I was wrong. They didn't. Okay, only one here at roller. Well, let's see. When you say significant group, oh, 76 men. Well, Uh, if he goes after the village farmers, who aren't particularly great, but they are something at least, we might actually be able to do it. And Fort Leavenworth is now being besieged. Don't care about you. God, that's expensive, dude. Jesus. Five thousand for one of my companions? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, are they all like that? Uh, yes, they do all appear to be. Uh, presumably, their level increases the cost, but they're all four thousand to five thousand. Yet yeah, that's a little too expensive for my taste. If I'm going to be completely honest. Indian pretender, Pat Devlin. Oh, shut the hell up, Pat. Nobody likes you. Let's go. We got to get to Fort Leavenworth because it's being besieged. Significant group. The game said significant group when Jefferson City was being raided by 76. Uh, men. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Fort Leavenworth is not being besieged by nearly as many troops. Or is being besieged by roughly that many as well. So about 70 some odd men. Maybe 80. Depending upon exactly what the range is for significant group. Oh, oh now it's a large army. Well then. Change of plans might be a little bit more difficult than originally anticipated. But it's a fort, and it's probably not very well defended, honestly. I don't think the AI... Well, no, the AI typically... Holy crap! Oh, that's a pretty decent amount of troops in there, so let's just go ahead and kind of... Waltz our way on into Fort Leavenworth. Thank you very much, and we'll just wait here. Oh, they got more troops. Join the battle. They are double us, but we are defending a fort. I think we'll be fine. He says before everybody dies. Oh my god, it's the same type of fort design as Fort Bent. I get the feeling the mod creator didn't really go and create multiple maps for these. So they're, I get the feeling they're pretty much all the same. Our guys are getting knocked unconscious. Already. And they haven't hit a single enemy. So, yeah, that's... No, I'm sorry, game.
Do you really have to aim for me in particular, game? Don't let them up, guys. If they're getting up, you're doing your job badly. Because you're supposed to keep them down. Not let them get up. I assume there's probably some by the gate already that I can't hit. Oh, I think I might be able to sneak down there, maybe. Uh, that one I don't think I'll be able to get up on because those guys are blocking me, I think. Let's get back up into the gatehouse. Stand back in the corner that has arrows all over it. Uh, yeah, we definitely taken out more of their men than they have our... Oh. Uh, oh, we don't have any over on the side, surprisingly. I guess we managed to actually take those guys out as well. I don't recall. I don't know if my troops get infinite ammo. I don't think they do. But I could be wrong. They might actually get infinite ammo. I've never really paid too much attention. What the hell, Settler? Really? You can help the guys that we're fighting? I was just kind of stuck back there. Some of them are slowly making their way towards us, but most of them seem stuck way the hell back there. I wonder if that shot was close enough for him to react as a result. Well, let's just go ahead. In the meantime, go ahead and get some fresh ammo. We got plenty of ammo still, technically speaking, but hey, it never hurts to have more. Well, we should win this battle mostly because, well, they have twice as many men as us, but they're not doing a particularly great job of getting to the fort. Oh, what the hell? Is this going to be a, oh, you don't own the fort, so you're not allowed to resupply? Oh my god, that is retarded, if that is the case. And that is going to piss me off, because that means I can't resupply. And if I can't resupply, it's kind of impossible to win, game. I know this might be a surprise to you, but I don't have infinite ammo. So I would love it if that would actually work, but apparently that's not going to be the case. Yeah, most of them are just going to sort of sit back there. I'm actually going to tell my men to... Well, no, screw it. I'll just sit back and wait. They'll eventually make their way towards us. This will just be a very boring part of us just kind of sitting back, twiddling our thumbs as some of the enemies slowly move up towards us. But that is BS, that I seemingly cannot resupply at the resupply point. I presume because I don't actually own the fort directly, which is BS because as far as I know, the game doesn't typically give a shit about the difference between you owning a fort 
and just somebody in your faction owning the fort. I'm pretty sure in 90% of the cases, it literally only looks to see which faction owns the fort. And guess what faction owns the fort? My faction. <laughs> so I should, in theory, be able to resupply. But apparently, I can't. Can I just tell you guys a charge? Because the enemy is seemingly stuck out there. Not quite sure how to get to us because they're so busy firing off all their shots. And again, I don't recall if AI troops have infinite ammo or not. I'd assume they wouldn't, but I don't know how much they actually do have in that case then. You know, that's a load of bull game. Axes can't block bullets, no matter how much you wish they could. Okay, it looks like some of them are now, a lot of them are now starting to trickle up towards the front now slowly ever so slowly i'll just go ahead and crouch which is basically just going to be doing the yeah we won animation and somebody just got knocked unconscious and i'll just sit back and wait and watch and listen until the enemy gets closer oh here we go now they should be close enough for me to start firing on them I prefer if you didn't fire on me. I'm gonna have ammo issues now because I can't resupply apparently. Or at least that's what the game would have me believe is the case. I mean, I can try checking again because I am actually out of ammo now with my primary. Or I don't have any ammo reserves rather. And yeah, nobody has ammo on the ground. Okay, there's some guys down there that are failing miserably to actually attack the door. So I'm going to go ahead and say, screw it. Risk my life to head down here. Those guys are dealt with. Let's try to get back up top without getting shot in the ass and dying as a result of getting shot in the ass because, as it turns out, getting shot in the ass hurts. And I'll take this opportunity to try and go and resupply again. Maybe it'll work this time. Who knows?
realistically speaking, I should be able to resupply, but if the game says I'm not, I am actually going to be doing something that I would rather not do, if I'm going to be completely honest. But, you know, if the game's going to be a piece of shit like this and not let me resupply, which it looks like is going to be the case, because, oh, you don't personally own the fort, which is a load of bull, so give me one second. Let me see. Hmm. That is actually a little surprising. So, yeah, okay, that is very surprising. Huh. My plan was, if the game's not going to let me resupply traditionally, I was just going to go ahead and basically cheat myself the ammo back, but... Uh, based off what I'm finding on Google, it looks like there actually is surprisingly no cheat for resupplying. Which basically means we're going to be stuck fighting with our sword in a little bit. So, we're screwed because bad mod design. Bad, bad mod design. I'm pretty sure the base game doesn't pay attention to who personally owns the fort. And I'm pretty sure it only looks at what faction owns it. Because if it looked at who personally owned the fort, it would be a real pain in the ass to defend somebody else's forts. Because you would eventually run out of ammo. Granted, in the base game you can survive a couple of shots at a distance. Not so much in this mod. This mod you get shot once, you're typically dead. If you're lucky to survive one shot, you'll be dead in the second. But yes. From what I'm finding on Google, it looks like there is surprisingly no cheat for ammo resupply, which is very weird. Mostly because, why wouldn't there be one? But yes, so I've got, I don't know how many shots left. I've got zero reserve, that's for damn sure. I don't know how much I have in the actual chamber. My revolver, I don't think is fully loaded. I think I fired one or two shots of it. And none of my guys seem to actually have, well, ammo pouches lying around, as far as I can find. So... Some of them I can pick up their gun, that's about it. I get one shot because they're all using muskets and whatnot, rather than repeaters like I have. And so yes, we're going to be stuck fighting with our sword in a little bit. Because we've only taken out 60 men. They have 400. We have 200. My guys won't run out of ammo, but I'll be sitting here twiddling my thumbs in a little bit because I won't really be able to fight. So sit here in the corner. This is the point where, realistically speaking, it'd probably be easier for me to just stop the recording and come back when something interesting happens, but you know what, fuck it for now. We'll just wait. Eventually these guys will make their way towards us. We can look at all the bodies. Both ours and theirs. In theory, mostly theirs. Yeah, they have 60 dead compared to our 9 and 14. I personally have lost 9. 
my allies have lost 14. The hell, guys? You let him get up. Yeah, my men won't charge out of the fort, even though I told them to charge. Now, that guy had a gun, but it's only one. It's a one-shot gun, so I'm still going to be out of luck. I can go down there, grab it, fire one shot, and then I'm out. I'd be stuck down there all by my lonesome, not sure what the hell to do. I imagine those guys probably out of ammo, so yeah. Like I figured, people don't have infinite ammo. It'd be great if they did, but yeah, pretty sure they don't. One last time, game. Come on. You know this is a load of bull. This whole I don't get to resupply because I don't personally own the fort is a load of BS. The enemy's just got some reinforcements. Which means we're going to be screwed in a moment. I've got maybe four, five more shots left in... My repeater here is just a, a guess. I don't actually have any idea really how much I have left. Yeah, that guy's running around with a nice with his knife out, so he's out of ammo entirely. It's sad that the game does actually despawn weapons after a while, which is partly annoying, actually, if I'm going to be completely honest. And that's all my ammo in the repeater. And that's all my revolver ammo. Now we're screwed. Or at least I'm screwed. doesn't have a weapon that I could pick up. Not seeing any guns to pick up. Oh, and I just got stabbed in the face. Hey, we're back. They now have like three times our men. So, yeah, still pretty shitty. <sighs> My character doesn't really seem impressed. Get Sam surprised. We'll just sit in the corner, waiting for them to get closer. Let me pull them out so I can actually see as they approach so I know when to pop my head out because eventually it'll be good enough for me to pop my head out. It's currently not. Uh, okay, I think it's about time for me to pop my head out. Oh, they're all going up like towards the hill. Of course they are. How are we doing? Uh, I lost one man. My allies lost one. And the enemies have just lost one now.
looks like the guys on the hill might have gotten taken care of. Wait some more. Hello, Bounty Militia. How you doing? I don't know why you're running backwards. You shouldn't be. Taking out 12 men of theirs so far. I prefer if I could give you guys a range to fire out to. Like, say, don't fire until they're basically right around this little drop off here. Because you guys are missing, because your guns are terrible at shooting. Mine's not that much better, realistically speaking. Uh, the fact of the matter is, you guys aren't doing anything because you're just firing so you know what old fire guys just kind of stand around take aim and I'll tell you when it's good enough for you to fire it'll eventually be don't worry that guy needs to stop running backwards no not quite not quite they're still Still trying to figure out whether or not they want to advance or not. They come in waves because they have to fire, reload, fire, reload, fire, reload until they're basically out of ammo. And once they're finally out of ammo, or at least low enough for them to decide, hey, we should probably advance, that's when they decide to advance. And so we sit here, we wait, and we watch the map. The report's coming in from the plane flying in the sky. We don't even know what a plane is yet. For those of you that don't know, you press backspace to pull this up. And we basically just sit here and sit here and sit here. And they'll eventually, enough enemies will decide to advance. And they'll reach a point where I'll say, yep, it's good enough for me to go ahead and tell them to go, tell my men to go ahead and fire at will again. But until such time, I want them to hold fire. I don't really need them wasting their ammo. So we're going to be going back to fighting like Napoleonic Wars where you got the uh, regiment commander or whatever off to the side or in the middle or wherever who will tell you to hold fire and when you're allowed to fire and yada yada yada. To maximize the effectiveness of your weapons because it turns out that's going to be the most effective <laughs> strategy for us still waiting the enemy is still firing away they'll run out of ammo eventually there's really no way to make this battle interesting because the way the fort map is designed and I Presumably there's some other ones as well, but at least the way this fort map is designed, which is the same one used by Fort Bent, and probably numerous other forts, is that the enemy is just going to keep firing. The enemy doesn't realize that they can't really hit our men in any real effective manner, so they're just going to be wasting ammo. My men do the same, obviously back at them because they say we're being shot at sir we should fire back even if it means we won't be able to hit them half the time anyway they're basically firing in an on an XCOM 10% chance to hit and expecting to hit not realizing that they're sure as hell not gonna hit okay we got a handful of them making their way forward now 
presumably they've either run out of ammo or they're at least low enough for them to consider it to be worth firing or to require them to actually advance. Did you all really just go and fire like on the same guy? Because if you did, that's sad. Hold your fire again. Not good enough. Should have kept the shield up, dude. Uh, apparently one of our guys is charging out there or something. There we go, he's dead. That'll hopefully encourage some of them to advance. I don't know. Did one of you guys just fire as I walk by? Because I'm pretty sure I told you all to hold fire. The only people that should be firing, if anything, are the allies. That I don't theoretically have any control over. Or at least I shouldn't. Especially since I'm pretty sure... Isn't there supposed to be one of the actual leaders here? Or are they not joining because screw me? If I told you guys to charge, would you actually do it? No. No, you wouldn't. Those guys are gonna move up here, though. That guy's not gonna die quickly, it seems. Oh, the guys with the revolvers definitely shouldn't be firing. New enemies arrived. Uh, looks like it's gonna push some of them forward now, finally. And I guess that guy just ran out of ammo.
out of ammo in the repeater. I don't think that's a good enough shot to be worth it. Oh, one of our guys is going out there using melee. Oh, I don't think he killed him. I think that might be one of our other guys. Don't worry, guys. There's only about another 200 some odd of them out there. You got this. Probably. I do wish these guys would drop ammo pouches, to be completely honest. Hunting knife, whoopee, that's exactly what I need. No, no it's not, I need ammo. Those guys are way the hell out there. Uh, oh, and I guess our guy that went out there got killed. Can't say I'm surprised. You need to stop moving around, dude. You're out of ammo, I think. Yeah, you're out of ammo. These two guys are stuck trying to climb through a roof. It's not gonna work, guys, I'm afraid. And I think I'm gonna stay out of the next battle to end this part. And next part, we'll probably be still fighting this battle. I do have expected to eventually end in a loss because, well, they have more men than us and I'm not allowed to resupply. Unless the game decided to fix itself and decide to allow me to resupply now. Nope, still can't. Plus I'm wounded, so yeah, that's not gonna help in subsequent battles. Great job, dude. You got him. I'm sorry, gang. I'm pretty sure these shots should be hitting. Oh, hello. I was trying to pick up the rifle there, because in theory it should at least have one shot in it. Oh, it took, looks like it might have taken out like all their chiefs, which is wonderful. Yep, yeah, we lost that. I'm not surprised. The game wasn't actually going to let me even step out of the battle. Like I said, I don't know how long this series will be turning for because that's... God damn, these battles. That whole buggy mess of, oh, you're not allowed to resupply at this fort because you don't personally own it is retarded. Because that's never... I'm like 99.9% .9 certain that's not how it is in the base game. So for some reason... The creator of the mod decided to make that change, if I'm recalling correctly. That it doesn't work that way in the base game. And if I am recalling, that is a stupid change to make. It benefits literally nobody. The AI doesn't take advantage of resupplying. Okay. 
the AI is not going to go and say, oh, hey, I need to be able to resupply this fort because it never falls back to the resupply points. So this stupid decision to make it to where you seemingly can't resupply at a fort unless you personally own it is stupid, in my opinion. It really is. It makes absolutely zero sense to make that change. Because you end up in that situation that I was in, where I'm eventually forced to fight with my sword. And, well, swords aren't particularly great when you're fighting people with guns, bows and arrows, or tomahawks. Because, surprisingly, bows and arrows and tomahawks are pretty effective at killing you. Okay? Bullets are obviously generally more effective, especially if you've got a repeater, but... Bow and arrow and tomahawks are surprisingly effective as well. Which ends up in the situation where I don't have ammo. My guys are out of ammo. They're, they're not able to resupply anyway, though. And the enemy's coming at me with double, triple, five times the amount of men that I have in a fort. Yeah, it's always going to result in the defender's loss, especially considering your men waste ammo firing at the hills because the enemy's on the other side of that hill <sighs> yeah well that's going to be it for this part i'll see you all in the next one because there's still going to be at least one more part we'll see if there'll be any more after that because to be completely honest some of these changes are really annoying me the mod has as far as i know the mod hasn't been touched in years so it's not really in work being worked on anymore as far as i know at least but some of these changes, oh boy, they are very, very stupid decisions. And just the mod itself has issues. Your men don't know how to fight in cities because they get stuck on the building, on the, on the walls of the buildings because they are like, oh, I don't know how to path around the building, so I'm just going to try and path through the building, which doesn't work because, well, you can't path through a building, especially when there's no way to get into the building in the first place. So, yes, like I said, we'll see how many more parts of this series there are. There is at least going to be one more. We'll see if that ends up being the last or if there will be another afterwards. Because now I have to still go ahead and get my men back up to 88 men now because we'll be we leveled up. I need to then go and level those guys up to get them to be better. And then I need to go and retake some forts because the rest of the AI on my team are complete and utter idiots. Honestly, they're worse than the normal idiots that I have in multiplayer games that I play. Which is actually kind of sad because you would expect the AI to be better. You really would. But the AI isn't. Our AI is out doing its own damn thing. And because Hannibal Hamlin doesn't want to make me the marshal, you know, the one person who's actually done anything in any of our wars... I'm not able to go and request that people follow me, and so I'm not able to organize effective counterattacks outside of saying, hey, you should go over there. But apparently when I tell somebody to go in a siege a fort with me, or that they can easily take a fort, they don't join me when I launch an assault on the fort because of reasons. Despite them being within range to join, they still decide not to. Which ends up putting me in the situation where I can't do anything. So yes. But nonetheless, like I said, that's going to be it for this part. A uh, quick reminder, that I do have a Patreon. So if you want to become a Patreon and be able to watch these videos early, you can go ahead and do that. You, If you want to be able to do that, it's only the $1 tier, which is the cheapest tier that there is. Uh, and like I said, you get early access to my videos. Not just this series, but all my other videos. But yes, so I'll see you all in the next part. But until then, a goodbye and farewell.